Well, first off, uh, talk about the experience you bring uh, to the program. I know uh, you, one of uh, two Division One uh, transfers, to come here uh, to the program. It's a young team. But what do you have to offer and that leadership uh, to this program? Um, I'm definitely excited to be here. First of all, um, I'm excited to come from a Division One program and uh, for Coach Kinder for giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, like I told Coach Kinder when he was recruiting me. Um, I'm definitely going to bring my leadership, my experience, you know, from playing a lot of Division I games. And I also started at my other Division I, so I'm going to bring that leadership and uh, just that true point guard position. You know, I, I could score, but I could also, like, you know, create for others and just make them comfortable on the court. So I'm definitely going to bring those attributes on this, on this team. Obviously, you don't have the crystal ball in front of you, but how many games do you think to expect for, for you guys to kind of gel as a team, knowing that you know so many new uh, faces uh, on the squad? I, I, I feel very confident in uh, the, pe the, the, the people we have on the team right now. It's unfortunate that a couple of our guys went down, but uh, my expectation is the same. I, I mean, I came over here to win, so um, every game that we go in, I, I truly believe we, we will win. Even going into Cal and St. John's, uh, I feel like they're human just like us. They put their pants on just like us. So, you know, just go out there and compete, you know. Have the, the newer players kind of asked you, say, hey, what is it like facing, you know, D1 competition? Yes, um, a lot of them has ask, asked me about that, and uh, I just tell them um, the, the difference, they just, the difference, between a Division One, Division Two uh, player, is that uh, people at, uh, at Division One, they're just, you know, they they know every night you have to come and compete, and they all they all they all have that that it factor. Like every night, I have to come in and compete, and you know, it's no days off. And uh, I've been definitely bringing that to this team. You know, since I already experienced that, I've been bringing that every practice. We have to go hard because if we want to win like the past players in this program has done, we have to really compete every day at practice, and that's where it starts. Because if you compete hard at practice, I feel like the game should be easier. Right. Uh, point guard position last season for HSU was kind of, you know, put it lightly, a revolving door, you know, there three, four guys pretty much trading off all throughout the year. I mean, what, what do you think bringing, you know, in yourself a, a solid, you know, consistent starter at point guard. What do you think that would be able to, to bring to the to the table? Um, I think that's gonna help the team a lot. You know, with my like I said, I'm 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 a big time leader. I'm like a general on the court, so you know, like a coach on the floor. So you know, sometimes like Coach Kinder will probably forget something. And I'm like Coach, I, I I got it because you know just from the battles I had and just knowing that position and knowing what is at stake. Were, uh, I mean, I go into the situation, but were there other schools that that kind of were interested in you before coming to Humble? Yes, um, I could have stayed at my old school, even though we had a new coach that came in, Reggie Diaz, but, um, you know, he told me my role was going to change. And, you know, from being their two-year starter at the school, and when the new coach came, he basically told me, like, my role was going to change. I wasn't going to play it as much and you know going into my junior my senior years it's like I feel like I'll be digressing because I've been starting two years my freshman and my sophomore year so uh, I feel like it was best for me to leave I had Eastern Washington that was also looking at me a couple other D2s um, UTEP was also looking at me but I wanted to go in a situation where I was gonna play and the ball was gonna be in my hand because I have high dreams of you know playing professionally so I feel like over here is a great opportunity, and Coach Kinder and uh, just the Jack family here um, has really opened the door for me. And you know, I'm just every day, like I told Coach, uh, I'm just gonna bring my hard work, dedication, and go from there. Uh, what are you looking forward to to playing uh, your exhibition games at Cal? You know, a big Pac-12 school at St. John's, and a big Big East school. I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. I, I'm telling you, once Coach Kender called me and told me, uh, well, you know, I know it's a Division Two. Um, we have a couple, uh, couple big, big games, and he said Cal, uh, St. John. Uh, whoa, okay, cool. That, 
going all the way to New York City. Uh, uh, definitely New York City. Yeah. And even at my old school, we didn't we didn't we didn't go to the East Coast. We did not go to the East Coast. And uh, we played a couple East Coast teams, but no St. John's, no St. John's. And uh, I'm definitely excited because coming out of high school, St. John's was kind of looking at me a little bit. So so it, it, it's definitely exciting to go go back down there, go down there, and you know definitely show what Humboldt State basketball has to offer. And I'm, I'm definitely excited with the team. I feel like everybody is uh, definitely excited and ready to go. Yeah. You know, another D1 guy, uh, Jordan, on the squad this year. What what have you seen out of him? Obviously, you know, coaches said he's a he's a high flyer and he yes. can, you know, he can uh, get some shots from the outside. What have you seen from him thus far to, I guess, get people excited and to, to realize, you know, it's not just you that's yeah. The thing is, me and Jordan played each other in high school. So, you know, me and Jordan have you know, we know each other from L.A. He's a little bit older than me, but uh, I feel like he's definitely going to help, you know, definitely going to help. He's, he's very, like Coach said, he's very athletic. I almost forgot how athletic he was until I started practicing. I'm like, wow, he's pretty athletic, man. And then, uh, But I feel like he's definitely going to help the team, help us. Uh, he he could play one, one, through, one through four on this team. I feel like he's... He, he has those type of uh, skills to do that, so I feel like he's definitely going to help. Even we have a lot of lot of other guys, not just me and Jordan. I feel like the whole team itself, like uh, like Parker, I'm high on Parker. I'm always on him. Uh, Will and you know those guys like that. I feel like they're really going to uh, contribute.